A lot of times people try to get what we refer to as the HDR look, and in actuality it's really easy to achieve something like that right with imperfect effects. And it's under the effect options over here on the right. If you drop down over here and go to the tone enhancer effect option, you're going to see some slides that pop open. The one you're going to want to pay attention to is the second from the bottom and it's called local contrast. If I bring this way up, you're going to start to see this really gritty look to the image. The other thing that you can do is bring out the shadows, which helps as well to get that kind of HDR look. And so you can see, even though it's a tone enhancer effect option, you have all of these controls over how it looks. So I can bring the shadows out even more, and I can bring the contrast way up. And then if I want, I can go to the blending options and choose a blending option that really refines that look and brings it home. Something like soft light. I'll click apply. And here we were able to get that kind of HDR look, that really grungy textured look, without actually going through tone mapping or traditional HDR processing, all built within Perfect Effects 4.